zodiac cancer this is a love reading a prediction for the month of january with me kuna caps taro as an extended member to this channel you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads and there's an all signs reading up development in love for the full members to this channel and the reading the thing i don't want to see but if i face it i'll heal are available for all the members to the channel subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership now i can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for december to get a context and this is the prediction for january and i will start reading your cards and i'm using the tarot illuminati so when i open your deck here i see the prince of wands together with the four of pentacles so this seems a little bit like a player kind of type someone that uh, doesn't want to get hurt doesn't want to let uh, anyone in and um, is always kind of protecting their heart but um, it's uh, fun and adventurous like they want to give that impression that they're fun and uh, adventurous um oh, uh, so they might um, misplace their fear and and um, kind of uh, depict themselves as this uh, uh, carefree kind of individ individual but in reality it's very hard to get close to this person so i call the divine with love and light <clears throat> and we see a two of pentacles here with the four of pentacles so i'm hearing this song one day it's fine and next it's black <laughs> so if you want me off your back <clears throat> see if i can remember this okay 212 um Ah, so uh, I think it's a little bit on and off with this person. Uh, one day they love you, next day um, they don't love you. Um, or one day uh, they are all scared, and next day they are all tough. <laughs> okay, let's see. I call uh, the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the Queen of Swords. So I'm feeling like this person is uh, putting themselves above other people. Like they uh, judge uh, others or they're putting themselves in a position where they are able to judge others. And uh, they are protecting themselves from getting judged. Um, <clears throat> so it's a way if we, um, if we, we continuously judge other people... Uh, we are putting ourselves in a position of being untouchable and um, maybe it's all an act to avoid getting judged. So I call the six elements and here we have the four of wands together with the four of pentacles. So there's some kind of mysterious bond between you and this person. The four of four, it's like it's it's not it's like sh chewing gum stuck under your <laughs> shoe uh, very hard to get rid of so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear cancer viewers so i want my dear cancers to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships uh, so I'm getting caught up by the candle. It's a woman in the candle. We can only see her um, eyes and her hair. It's hard to see because there's not the same shadows in the phone. But there's her two eyes and that's the hair. And as I said this, she started to cry. She's like hidden um, behind something um maybe there's a gag it's um um okay uh, so uh, i just got bothered uh, by the candles i had to show you but it was a little bit hard to see what i'm seeing um with the shadows and all it's very detailed okay so tuning in to you the person most on your mind and your relationship in january
So I'm feeling this woman, it's a, it's a kind of a symbol for um, an honor, honorable goddess aspect, but she's not being honored and therefore she cries. It's like um, uh, she should be praised or she should be really honored, but she's not. Um, and it's like the world is falling apart a little bit. Okay. So this is the new bottom of the deck, two of swords. It's Libra energy as is the queen of swords. So I'm also thinking that you are trying to uh, maybe not get so caught up in this situation. <clears throat> and the old bottom of the deck is the ten of wands. So it seems to have been a very rough journey here. Um, it has taken the toll on you. Um, the lady in the candle, she seems, um, she has like a young face, but uh, I'm getting the sense that her hair is gray and, uh, and um, uh, it might be because of all the um, torment and hardship and all the hard work that hasn't really paid off. Okay, uh, so here we have thoughts level, emotional level. And this is action level. So first we will look at the situation. And we have the four of wands. So this mysterious bond or this strong bond between you and another person. It's a, a soulmate connection. And um, probably um, a lot of past time that we have shared together. Either in this life or other lives. And this is what's on your mind, uh, seven of wands. So you're taking in a defensive position and they are taking in a avoidant position. We had the four of pentacles, um, four of wands, and here also the four of swords, which is also Libra. So we have three cards for Libra, which might show this um, uh, attitude of being holier than uh, kind of see, look at me, I'm so cool, I don't care, uh, so I'm better than you, a uh, little bit that kind of attitude, which is not typical for uh, Libra in any way, but when it's badly aspected, it can um, uh, become a little bit like that. Uh, so you're angry and you want to get rid of this person or this problem, and uh, put an end uh, to it and they seem to want to put you on a back burner too but it's like it's a it's a theater it's a drama this person is playing out a drama so uh, to to get your attention or to send a certain message and the bond between you two is the hermit uh, so you're probably going through this because um, of personal growth it's giving you personal uh, growth when you don't get what you want <laughs> it's very frustrating uh, but it's also very educational it's like water when it can't rush forward the usual stream it needs to find new ways and this is how the divine is um, uh, sending you on a quest uh, so that you will uh, find these new ways both for you but also for other people around you what you are learning is spreading like rings on water so other people are learning them too and it seems to be doing with with healing and inner soul searching uh, this is the king of cups it's scorpio energy so you probably love this person a great deal but you realize that there's something some problems with this person so Hmm. And uh, this is their feelings, and even though they play this theater of um, look at me, I'm, I don't care, <laughs> so it seems like they would want to uh, reconcile. It's um, um, not uh, very likely that they will say anything about this because the Four of Swords is um, lack of communication, but uh, um, in their heart of hearts. Uh, they would want things to be different uh, between you. They probably would wish that they didn't have such a big ego where they need to be so protected. All the fours are connected to the emperor and the emperor needs to show 
like a facade so people know that they are powerful so no one comes and takes their empire okay your behaviors and attitudes it's a beautiful six of swords six of swords six of cups um i think you're just um, trying to solve uh, this like your own life your own situation and also the relationship with this person in the most loving way um, you're probably angry but uh, you're also like a diplomatic person or a kind uh, person so even if you want to take revenge on them or uh, give them a slap on their face <laughs> or bad mouth them or whatever uh, it seems like you're holding yourself to a higher standard and just trying to get past this period and um, you know do the best of the situation do the best of your life and um, six of swords is a forgiving card but it's also a smart card so it shows that we can um, let go we can live and let live but also let go uh, of the person so it's very gracious energy and this is uh, the other person's behaviors and attitudes. And we have the Ten of Cups. So they kind of say, I will love you forever, which is confusing. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure that this is true. Uh, this is just a person with, with a very guarded heart. Uh, they are playing this theater, this drama, and they put different people to play uh, different roles and uh, it's important for them to have it like that. It's some kind of control, some kind of power. Uh, I don't think it makes them happy at all. But it's like the ones, maybe when they were a child, took a decision that this is how they need to rule their life and the people around them uh, to be safe. And uh, they have a very hard time to see that, you know, childhood is over and now they are an adult person in adult relationships. And they need to take new decisions and uh, other ways to, to deal with stuff. Um, but it definitely seems like this person loves you a lot. And they just don't want it to show. And the outcome for January is uh, justice. Uh, so justice says that we need to be accountable. So it's Libra energy again. And it's the nice uh, energy with Libra that... Uh, being accountable, being responsible. Uh, if we have done something wrong, uh, we uh, might be angry first or lash out or be triggered, but then we get a moment to think about it and we take responsibility for our own actions and what we said and we are kind of owning the situation and being um, a mature and grown-up person. So I think this is what the divine hopes for in this situation that this person will own up to uh, their true feelings you just seem like you are caught in um, <clears throat> the stream of what this is person is doing and you can just uh, you know try tag along and you know fight the stream try to not drown try to get yourself to uh, the safe shore as quick as possible and you know get the hell out of that stream uh, because um, you didn't create this uh, situation the other person did with their fears and their mask and their theater um, so you're just trying to take yourself out of that hectic and rushing river and to save yourself and maybe you know forget about this relationship and try to heal and, and move on on dry land uh, but um, uh, well, I don't know what's going to happen, um, but uh, I think this person has some explaining to do. And I don't know if they will do it, but the divine says that they want them to do this. But everyone has free will, so we don't have to follow what we should do. We can go totally against it and do what we always have done instead. So Wizard of Awareness, it's much this uh, <clears throat> just this energy that I felt, um, like this typical Libra energy where we, uh, you know, first we are upset and we react and uh, we feel in danger, like uh, really 
filled with this uh, righteousness and they did the wrong thing and I'm super angry and and then we come to our senses and we just like ah it wasn't that big of a deal uh, I was acting like a clown um, I will own up to this uh, so it's being aware like we can be everyone gets triggered everyone gets emotional but not everyone can own up to their mistakes and I don't think it's typical for this person to do this but as they have mastered the negative aspects of Libra energy <clears throat> being cool to beyond measures um, um, I think they are also supposed to uh, adapt to this more light uh, side of the Libra energy to be this responsible and owning up to uh, what we have like the mess we have made and you know fix it uh, I can't say if this person is going to do it it's um, it's a big turn uh, of event but it's what's supposed to happen so don't lay any weight in that you know crawl to dry land and take yourself to safety whatever this person does um, it isn't really your problem it's their karma um, not yours so sometimes it's good to not get too caught up uh, in a relationship with a person that has a uh, uh, little bit self-destructive tendencies or survival techniques that's alienating other people so i would urge you to watch the love reading for december to learn more about this situation or relationship and please share my videos to let more people know about them. Also like the video to show YouTube that you want to continue seeing readings from me in your feed. And of course subscribe and hit the notification bell to be sure that you get noticed when I'm posting a new video. Thank you in advance also for watching this far. Take really good care until next time. Stay awake, stay healthy, stay blessed and bye for now.